hi everyone i hope you are well so this is nyla's one month update um and i'm going to be doing monthly updates for her i'm not going to be doing monthly updates for me because um i'm feeling absolutely fine now so that is good we've got a hiccup baby she's got hiccups and she's very very grumpy um and tired by the looks of it <laughs> um but yeah she's actually um five weeks and three days today i have been trying to film this video for pretty much a week now but she is just look at the grump on her face she's just not been having any of it she's such a diva <laughs> um so yeah she is now one month old and she's absolutely thriving um she feeds really really well she's on five ounces now although it kind of varies she'll go between four to five just depending on how how much she fancies um she can pretty much hold her head up very well now um i don't know if you can tell she's too busy trying to poop i think or um i'm not too sure yeah probably <laughs> poop um she had really bad um silent reflux um she she was extremely constipated um yeah the first couple of weeks were a little bit of a nightmare to be honest with her in regards of like feeding and keeping it down she was sick quite a lot um we changed bottles so we now use the dr brown bottles and they are absolutely amazing did you not want that no you didn't want that did you um yeah the bottles were absolutely amazing so we use them now and they do help um sleep wise i have been very very naughty i have let her snuggle with me um fall asleep on my chest and now i can't actually get her in her snooze pod now she will not settle um today is actually the 8th of august and yesterday i um for the first time i put her in the snooze pod if you do follow me on instagram then you all know i did it insta story um and kind of documented the whole night how it went it went good i didn't put her on my chest because that's what she absolutely loves she loves being on my chest and i love her being on my chest but my back doesn't my back absolutely kills really really kills it's taking its toll on me now so um yeah, we started at about nine. She actually eventually fell asleep at one in the morning. She had a bottle at 11 though. Um, and then she woke up at four for a bottle and then went back to sleep at seven because she was like, hold on, why am I not on your chest after my bottle like I normally am, mummy? So that took a while to resettle her. And then she woke up at half nine today. So she's done well for her first night. My little big girl, you've done very well. Um yeah she's an absolute diva like i can't even explain how much of a diva she is she frowns all the time if she's not in a good mood she will frown which is so funny because you know when she's not impressed <laughs> she absolutely loves her um beanbag planet which is just there we keep that upstairs so if i want to have a bath and i can put her in the beanbag planet and just keep her in the bathroom um and downstairs we have got the Jane um, vibrating bouncer which I will show you because there's a review coming up on that but um, yeah I mean I don't really know what else there is to update you on I've never done one of these before um, what else can I say we're using Pampers nappies they seem to be doing the trick they seem to be um, <laughs> they seem to be um, doing the trick really well doing the job well um now she's gripping hold of me i don't know how do you want to how do you want to sit how do you want to sit bob so I sit like this um yeah pampers are doing fine we were using boots but i just found they didn't have much stretch to them so um and now i'm boring her um <laughs> they didn't have much stretch to them so we changed over to pampers and they seem to be doing the trick so we're, we're using pampers nappies we are using water wipes and the huggies 
pure wipes they are really good i highly rate huggies wipes they are a bit like um tissuey kind of because i can remember using them with the girls i'm thinking oh, what are these but they are really soft and gentle so we're using them um milk she's on aptamil and that seems to be doing fine i use the tommy t the tommy tp prep machine which is amazing um and she seems to be fine she's not getting like belly ache through using it or anything like that um yeah what else can we say about you little munch kitten that you're a bit of a diva you're a whiner aren't you hey <laughs> um yeah i can't think of anything else to relay on this one because she is only a month old um her cord came off fine um it was a little bit red and the health visitor thought she might have a umbilical hernia which i had one of them when i was um born as well and they burnt it off which um sounds very very scary but um at her six week check the health visitor said they will have another look to see if it is an umbilical hernia um yeah what else what else can i tell you this is going to be quite a chatty video a, a bit rambly um we're using mam dummies because they are the smallest dummies and i think with newborns you don't want a big massive dummy um on their face it's not very attractive and it tends to leave marks like around the mouth um but yeah that's that's pretty much the first month's pretty much um straightforward isn't it really she rolled over on day four or five um and wouldn't stay on her back she doesn't like sleeping on her back but we are persevering for obvious reasons um because she actually rolled over on her front and couldn't kind of turn her head so she was kind of face planted um and that worried me because i thought well if she can't breathe you know so i wouldn't actually try um and put her on her front to sleep now seeing that i might have done if i hadn't have seen that if if i got desperate if she weren't sleeping um but no now i see that um i won't be doing that um, she's got some birthmarks on the back of her head, which Alessia had the exact same, but they actually went, and Alessia was more of like squidgy, squidgy um, stretch marks, whereas Nyla's ones are just the colour, there's no like um, squidginess to them. Oh, stop your whining, baby girl. I'm nearly done now. Stop your whining and then we can go out. We're going to go out today in the ice waddle. Um yeah so me i am feeling absolutely fine now um as you know if you've been watching the weekly vlogs i have had it quite bad um my prolapse is fine it's all sort of sunk sunk back up <laughs> it's all like gone back to normal and um bleeding stopped um boobs stopped leaking my boobs only stopped leaking like a week ago they were really really bad um yeah baby stopped leaking um my appetite is fine my mood is up and down it was really really bad at the start but now i think i'm slowly getting into um back to normal life back to normality even though it is the six weeks holidays and the weather is absolutely ridiculous rain every day and literally we can't get out we did have our holiday in great yon which was lovely um but on the lines of weather wise at the minute it is pretty naff so yeah persevering with that but um yeah i think that is everything to update you on for this month anyway i do apologize if it is very chatty and rambly but like i say i have never done a one month update before and i just want to cherish these moments and um look back on her development and look back on how small and cute she is so yeah look at her <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in her next month update